Hey guys, Tyler here, and today I'm gonna talk about Mazinger Z. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. The plot for Mazinger Z is one that's very complicated, but also simplistic at the same time. An evil scientist named Dr. Hell is pretty hell-bent on destroying the world with his giant robots. Assisting him with the operation is a person called Baron Ashler, and pretty much Baron Ashler is like the two-faced of the franchise. He has one side as masculine and one side as feminine. To prevent Dr. Hell from conquering the world, it's a person named Dr. Kabuto, and Dr. Kabuto decided to create a giant robot called Mazinger Z to fight against the giant robots that are conquering the world. After Dr. Kabuto's house was blown into bits, his final words to his grandsons, Koji Kabuto and Shiro, was that they controlled Mazinger Z to fight against the giant robots from Dr. Hell. And of course, the rest is history. Mazinger Z is just one of many shows that of course helped popularize the genre for giant robots. Prior to Mazinger Z, there has been many popular shows with giant robots, but none as successful. For example, there has been Johnny Sockland's Flying Robots, and of course Gigantor. However, Mazinger Z was more popular in international markets. For the case of Spanish-speaking nations, the show has been proven to be really popular and it received not just one, not just two, but three Spanish dubs. The first Spanish dub was in Spain in 1978 by the network TVE for select episodes. The second Spanish dub was produced in Miami, Florida with Cuban actors. And the third Spanish dub was produced in Puerto Rico, but it also aired in Spain. As a matter of fact, Spain loves Mazinger Z so much that they have their own statue of Mazinger Z. And oh my god guys, I'm just so jealous about that statue. For the case of English speaking nations, there has been at least two dubs for the franchise. The first dub was done in Hawaii back in the 70s on select few episodes. However, it has not been on to like mainstream American TV, only Hawaii. And the second dub was done in the 1980s called Transfer Z, where pretty much they changed the whole entire details of the whole entire plot for the series. From the minds of mortal men. The mightiest of machines. Whether if you're into giant robots or anime or tokusatsu or Pacific Rim, I highly recommend you guys to check out this show at least one time. This DVD set from Discotech Media is not too shabby. On the front, you have the cover with Mazinger Z, and on the back, you have the description of the show. And of course, when you open up the box, you have all six discs with the 46 episodes. What do you guys think about this show? Please tell me in the comment section down below. Like, personally, I think this show is awesome, but at times it's a little repetitive, but it's still pretty awesome to watch. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler